Welcome to today's video. Join us as we show you 21 beautiful places to visit in North Wales. Let's get started. Conwy lies on the north coast of Wales. The first thing you'll notice as you arrive is its stunning 13th century castle dominating the town. We recommend a visit to this castle and also a walk on the town walls. The views are epic. Conwy has a working harbour and here you'll find the smallest house in Great Britain. The last tenant was a six foot three fisherman. It's well worth a visit inside. Conwy is also a very picturesque town. Do make sure to include Conwy on your next North Wales adventure. 23 miles to the west of Conwy, you arrive at Carnarvon. Carnarvon also has an incredible 13th century castle right at the heart of the town. Once you've visited the castle, stroll by the waterfront and visit the quirky shops and historic pubs in town. Don't forget to pick up a postcard to remind you of your day in Carnarvon. Carnarvon is also the start point for the Welsh Highland Railway. This is the UK's longest heritage railway and runs for 25 miles. Leaving Carnarvon, you get beautiful views of the castle and then it's out into the stunning countryside of North Wales. This is another experience not to be missed with the smell of the steam in the air to the breathtaking views as you travel the old fashioned way. We travelled just as far as Berth Gellert and that's where we're going to visit next. Berth Gellert is a small but chocolate box perfect Welsh village. It's most famous for the folk tale of the faithful hound Gellert. You can see the grave of Gellert on your visit and read the sad story that supposedly unfolded here all those years ago. We do have a vlog that includes that story if you'd like to learn more about it. There are some excellent craft and souvenir shops here, some great pubs and amazing ice cream. 17 miles away you find the charming village of Better Sequoid. This is the perfect place to stay if you're planning a walking holiday as there are many hiking routes in the surrounding hills. With its picturesque town, what better way to get back to nature? Just outside Better Sequoid, you'll find the mighty Swallow Falls, well worth a visit. Another hidden gem near Betus is the Fairy Glen. It can be a bit of a scramble down, but the views when you get here are magical. Just five miles away from Betus Akoid is the market town of Llanroost and its most recognised building, Tihun Tibont. This dwelling from 1480 has been many things in its time, including a courthouse. Today it's a Welsh tea room and inside is quaint with many original features. They also do excellent hot chocolate. On the shores of Llinpadarn sits Llanberis with its flock of local sheep. A short walk from the town centre takes you to Dolbadarn Castle. This castle has stunning views of both Llinpadarn and Llinperis. This castle is also free to visit and it's a beauty. Llanberis is also where the Snowdon Mountain Railway begins. Should you not fancy the walk to the top, you can travel this way, like we did. The walk can take you between five and nine hours, but the train will get you up to the top in one hour. Snowdon, or Iwydfa as it's called in Welsh, is the highest mountain in Wales. When we visited, the track to the top was closed. It was cloudy on the way up, but on the way down, these incredible views opened up. So do check your weather before you climb or get the train. We're now back on the north coast of Wales, admiring the beautiful Victorian seafront at Llandidno. This is a place for a great family day out, from the Lewis Carroll Trail to Punch and Judy on the Prom. 
Llandidno boasts the longest pier in Wales. It's well kept and filled with attractions. It's well worth a stroll to admire the views. Llandidno also has the Great Orm Tramway, Britain's only cable hauled tramway that travels on public roads. You can also ascend the Great Orm via cable car. From the top of the Orm, you have incredible views out over Llandidno one way and over De Gamway and Conwy the other way. Penryn Castle isn't a castle in the usual Welsh sense, it's a country house and the former home of Richard Pennant. Pennant's wealth derived from his ownership of slave plantations in the West Indies. He has a pretty murky past. But today you can wander around his former home and gardens and imagine what life was like back in the 18th century. And it was Christmas. Bonus. We're now on Anglesey and on Ynys Llandwyn. This is a tidal island with many beautiful beaches. Come here if you're after seclusion and to find your own spot of paradise. This is the church of St Dwynwen, the Welsh patron saint of lovers. All over this island, there are lighthouses, crosses and incredible views. Heading along the Menai Straits, still on Anglesey, we next arrive at Beaumaris. Here you'll find another of Edward's iron ring of castles, although this one was never finished. The views from up the top, though, are amazing. Another cool thing to see in Beaumaris is the old Victorian jail, which gives you a fascinating insight into prisoners' lives during the 1800s. And when all that history gets too much for you, make your way to the front and enjoy fish and chips on the beach. Beaumaris has a short pier, perfect for a stroll, or you can catch a boat trip around Puffin Island and see all of the beautiful nature it has to offer. Our last stop on Anglesey is right at the top near Hollyhead. South Stack Lighthouse is a sight to behold, but if you've got dodgy knees or don't like stairs, then this one's not for you. The views of both the cliffs and the wildlife on the way down are stunning, and the lighthouse makes for a fascinating visit. And yes, there are more steps inside to get to the top. And it's quite cosy when you're up by the lamp. That's us all finished on Anglesey. Let's head west along the mainland. Nevin is a small but perfectly formed seaside town on the Llyn Peninsula. It has an absolutely beautiful beach, which unfortunately does get very busy in summer. Come slightly out of season and enjoy this place when it's quieter. As well as the quaint holiday lets on the beach, the views across the peninsula are amazing. But if you're searching for a quieter beach, a little more off the beaten track is Whistling Sands, or Porthor as it's called in Welsh. In warm weather, the sand is said to squeak or whistle as you walk on it. There are some great rock pools here, and some caves to explore too. But if you want a beach on the Llyn Peninsula that comes with a pretty famous beach bar, then head to Porth Dinschlein and the Tea Koch Inn. The views from the front terrace are just stunning, and you can always tell if a place is quality. They have a cat. There are holiday lets dotted all along the beach. It's a wonderful place to walk and take in all of the glorious views. And that's the Llyn Peninsula. Where to next? Cricketh Castle stands atop a rocky outcrop overlooking Tramadoc Bay. Cricketh is a great place to visit as it's so well placed for visiting a lot of North Wales's most famous sites. The beaches are quite stony, but Cricketh itself is certainly a colourful place. If you do want a fantastic sandy beach, then just drive 10 minutes around the headland to Blackrock Sands. Here you'll find a vast sandy beach with plenty of caves to explore. And the sunset from this beach is pretty spectacular too. Where next? Directly across the bay from Cricketh is Harlech, 
with yet another incredible 13th century castle. Do walk the ramparts of this castle, as we think Harlech Castle has the best views of them all. The upper town of Harlech is charming, although it does claim to have the world's steepest street. It's very pretty though. If you make your way down to the sea, you'll find Harlech Beach, a four-mile stretch of pristine golden sand. And another fantastic place to watch the sunset. Another 10 miles further south and we've arrived at Barmouth and the mighty Maldach Estuary. Even though Barmouth is popular in the summer, the beach never feels crowded as it is so big. There are often dolphins in these waters and you can take a boat trip in search of them. The town is quaint and has plenty of facilities but you'll keep getting drawn back to the beach and the views of Barmouth Bridge, the longest timber viaduct in Wales. It's time to head inland. This may look like a beautiful and romantic lake in the forest. It is, however, a reservoir, built in the 1880s to supply Liverpool, 80 miles away, with water. Even the straining tower is in a Gothic style. The dam is an incredible feat of engineering and still so impressive today. This whole area is now a national nature reserve and popular with ornithologists, cyclists and hikers. And now it's time to move on once again. Situated on the River Dee, Schlangotlin is picturesque and brimming with sights and history. It has a heritage railway, a town filled with shops and restaurants, a stunning church with the final resting place of the ladies of Llangollen. Do check out their story in our Llangollen vlog. There's the pavilion, home to the International Eisteddfod, and then perched on the hill overlooking the town, Castell Dinas Bran. Valley Crucis, a Cistercian abbey built in 1201, is just outside Llangollen and is a must visit, as is the Pillar of Eliseg, which dates back to the 9th century. Amazing. A short drive from Llangollen brings you here to the Pont Cysylltau Aqueduct. This genius piece of civil engineering marked Thomas Telford as one of Britain's leading industrial civil engineers. It was completed in 1805 and now boats could sail through the sky. It's spectacular. We're back at the coast once again, but this time in North East Wales. This is Talacra Beach and the Point of Air Lighthouse, probably the most photographed lighthouse in Wales. There are some beautiful walks in the dunes here and lots of wildlife to see. The beach is beautiful, but it's the lighthouse that everyone comes to see. We've got one stop left. Let's take you there. Situated just outside Hollywell in Flintshire, St Winifred's Well is the oldest pilgrimage site in Wales. This spring miraculously appeared when 7th century Welsh abbot St Buno brought his niece Winifred back to life. The waters are said to have healing properties and the spring still bubbles up from the ground today. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of 21 amazing places to see in North Wales. We've been Postcard and a Pint. Cheers. <laughs>